So your fancy carbon dosing. Now you've researched it on the internet. Now so have I. Um, and do you go for vodka? Do you go for no pox? Or do you go for a nice Chardonnay? Well, no. Let's not go for the Chardonnay. Let's go for no pox. But you could buy a Grey Goose. Would be cheaper. Tastes better. But... Was he good for the reef? Not sure. So let's stick with these guys. Right. Okay. Forget the price. There's your no pox. Right. The reason why I'm going down this route is my reef tank at the moment is running um, its nitrate level uh, around 30 to 40 parts per million. Nah, it's a bit high. I want to get into doing SPS corals. So this is how I'm going to do it. Right. My first thing. How I'm going to actually dose it into the reef tank. Well. I've decided not to go down the route of using a peristaltic pump. Peristaltic pumps are great, dosing pumps are fantastic, but the resolution of them. Is it high enough? I don't think it is because they're an open loop system. They uh, are not the most accurate. Uh, now, what I've found, well, which I was already aware of, is syringe drivers used for the medical industry, well, for medical. Um, these are high resolution lead screw dosing systems. Uh, you see this one at the moment is, is going to be dosing over a 24 hour period. And it literally goes from 1 milliliter per 24 hours to 10 milliliters. Well, I'm, I've currently got it set to 10 millimeters per uh, 24 hours. And that's what I'm currently testing. At the moment it's got actually RO water in it. It hasn't got ethanol or, or the no-pox in it. Um, I just want to check to make sure because I bought this thing on eBay. It was nineteen pounds, absolute great value. How accurate it is! Obviously, for a hospital to discard it, it's going to be two problems with it. Either a, it's faulty, or it's not out of calibration. So I'm going to be checking its calibration. It's dosing into the the cup that came with the no pox, and I've got it on some high precision um, weighing scales as well. So I, obviously, I, I can see how much it's actually metering. Follow me on this one. I'm go obviously, I'm going to run the next experiment with um, with the no pox and find out what the evaporation rate is it, uh, of it because I'm not sure at the moment how much is going to evaporate because you can see at the moment. It, obviously, that little bubble, that, that droplet, is going to grow over the next sort of an hour, and it could evaporate. Because obviously it's 40% alcohol, what we're, we're dosing. Right, okay, my tank. It doesn't look horrendous. It doesn't look great either. It's a little TMC 600 system. It's been running for about two months, but it's a fully mature system. It came from uh, a Chromus Aquamedic system that I had for 15 years, so all the water got transferred, and prior to that, all that got transferred from a custom system when I didn't know what to spend my money on. The rock is 30 years old. I've, I've earned it 30 years, so it could have all sorts of cack in there and all sorts of... I mean, I, I kind of clean it. I put, I put the power head around it every couple of days and yeah, it could have accumulated all sorts of rubbish. And there's a couple of leather corals in there that I've actually cr trimmed, pruned, moved. Yeah, they, they look okay. They're not not looking in the greatest of health, but fish, yes, I overstock. There are what seven fish in there. I've got a big clown, maroon clown, in there. It poops. Yeah, yeah, it does poop. Um, live sand. Yeah, live sands come from my other system as well. Yeah, there's lots going on in there, but I can't get my nitrates down. The sump, I'm not quite sure whether you'll be able to see in the sump because it's a bit late when I'm running this video, but let's have a look. So, nothing fancy, overflow sock, automatic top up, got tons of little um, surface skimmer in there that's running our, uh, carbon and rower foss, got a, a, a reef skim 500 and a return pump, a couple of inches. And absolutely nothing else running in there. Right, so first thing, I'm going to check this calibration. Um, once I know it's dosing correctly, then um, I'm going to start adding it to the tank. Follow me, 
and let's see how we get on.